what's going on YouTube? My goodness, apologize for the screen angle here. The tripod that I did have was broken and the camera's just balancing up on here. So I'm trying to keep the picture an actual picture, but I got something in the mail I'm really excited about. Wanted well, to open it up, hardly ever do unboxing videos. But let's see. A professional equipment production. I love the way they do these boxes. It's, I'm not sure exactly if that could be any more general of a term I'd name my company. <laughs> professional equipment production. But hey, it's true to the name. We'll see what we got here. Yep. Okay. Well, that is true. They did send everything here. So we have a USB wall wart. We have our ooh, normal, you know, which, see, I'm trying to not get the camera off. So we got that with a nice little stand there. Oh yeah, that's the actual belt clip. I was going to belt clip it. What I got here is a frequency counter. It'll do the CTCSS tone. See, I finally said it right. DCS decoder as well. DMR frequency counter. Um, so we have I'm sure I'm going to have to do another after charge video, but this thing is tiny. It already has an internal battery um, built into this, uh, recharges too. Um, but yeah, this this uh, also was under Surecom, same same uh, model number as the uh, original. You know, I'm going to need the instructions. Who am I kidding? possibly need the instructions but well what i thought would happen happened of course the tripod fell apart you just can't leave a camera on top of it uh and haven't expect to stay on there gravity does not work in my favor ever so this is the radio here this has the us um usb on the top and this also has a bnc uh for the for the um antenna uh, so we'll go ahead and put all this together I'm just using a different USB that's already plugged in. Just this normal plug there for Android devices, other similar devices. All right, we already got a red light indicator. Um, see, this is under $50 purchase. Um, it's quite cheaper than that, actually, because uh, I actually had a eBay uh, credit on there for some other purchases so this was actually cheaper than i expected um wasn't expecting much but this you know it it doesn't have crunch of plastic it's actually together real nice um so it already has the functions on the bottom let's see what we can do real quick so we're going to go ahead and just fire it up oh look at that screen wow at, wow, look at that. It's actually a nice screen on there, too. Um, all right, so we got a 4.8 software revision. We've got a counter run down there. We got the battery uh, indicator charge light on there. And we're already set up. Let's see here. We, uh, we got the CTCSS tones um, and the DCS tones. Both of those would be uh, a frequency coming up top there. And it would display if they were using uh, the tones as well. Um, so, oh, look, we got it over here. It's enabled. Um, so let's see what else we can do here. So already in scan. And we're in 27 mags. So let's go ahead and press some buttons here. Oh, let's see. Let's go over there. Yep. Okay. So that's what that does. And so we can go down. Change range, type analog, digital. Very nice. Okay. So we do have an option for digital as well. Uh, interesting. So 
this thing here looks like it's going to be pretty decent. Uh, I got to have to get it something set up and uh, see if we can get a, a tone out here. All right, we're back. I got this thing charged up. It does go to a green light when it's fully charged. Didn't take that long. Got to hold it down. And now we're back on. So you can get it, you can change all that over there. You just have to hit the uh, the menu button and get over to it. But uh, yeah, we got this set up exactly the way we want it. We're 27 to 2.8. Got it set up just on a test channel right now. I'm going to go ahead and key up and we'll see what you can see here. I'll just uh, bring this a little bit closer. So yeah, it's right on. Do a little deviation on modulation. Let's say got the signal strength in the bottom there and showing the frequency. So these things are so light even when doing this. All right, so I have another one that's a test. I added just a um, CTCSS tone to it. So um, let's uh, see what this one looks like. There you go, you see it has a 156.7, the tone I used, um, but you have the frequency show and everything's right there. Um, and we're sitting on analog. So would I buy this again? Absolutely, uh, I sure would. Um, unsure on the actual um, sensitivity on this. Um, of course, I tried it on my um, 10 meter radio and you know, just keyed up and probably about 200 feet away and I did not pick anything up on this. Um, so maybe it's a little more selective. I'd rather have it more selective than not because um, if this thing was super sensitive, this thing would always be jumbling around with something. So at least it has some good, uh, you know, selectivity on it. Um, and it's gonna not just pick up everything going around, but uh, yeah, so you can key up on here, show you the CTS tones and uh, CTCSS tones, sorry. And, uh, you know, just, just regular frequencies here. So, yeah, I had no problem so far with this unit. It uh, does seem to be working quite well. Let's see if I can go into VFO. I'll just drop it down. It's a long little uh, moving around here. I could have just typed in something, I'm sure. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, oh. Yeah, so that's 8875. So let's just see if that picks up everything just the same. So, yeah, UHF, VHF works. Uh, that's the only one two I've tested right now with this um, walkie-talkie that I got here. But, uh, yeah, so if you see these, um, I'm kind of impressed by it. I'm not expecting it to be, you know, uh, a frequency counter that you'd have on the test bench. But this is also good. A lot of people call these, uh, you know, uh, bug sniffers. These if are under the suspicion of being wiretapped or bugged in an area. This should be able to at least, uh, you know, you get close to some place. It should be able to tell you if there's a frequency or something transmitting within a room. So, yeah, with nothing close by and nothing on, it will not um, do anything here. The one thing I'm not sure about, I don't think it has built in, is when it detects. A frequency I don't think it uh, you can set up an alert to beep at you but overall this thing here is about doing everything it said it do for under $50 things have come a long way and this case is you know not that cheap plastic it's actually a nice nice case almost the quality of a, uh, the old project uh, cases that you used to be able to get at Radio Shack but yeah built in battery uh, i'm sure how long it lasts um, but i have the screen time out after five minutes the thing will just shut off completely but yeah it gives you a runtime and everything else so uh the one thing i haven't tried is you know updating the 
firmware if there is one out there if it just is what it is and hard coded in but uh yeah for what you get on this thing i would definitely uh pick one up if you don't have a frequency counter at all uh just so you can see if you're on frequency and off frequency and if you already have one of those and like i said you want a bug sniffer one or if you uh just need a portable one so you can you know be out and say an event somewhere or like i said the target or whatever you can be up next to someone see where they're transmitting and uh you know get the tones and everything off it so yeah this has come a long way i know radio shack used to have one back in the day i wanted um but not as advanced as this one it was close but uh yeah if, uh, very surprised it has a multicolor screen on it um and it's in good good condition clarity wise um, you can pretty much get everything uh, you need in a snapshot right there. So, uh, all right. I'll say 73s. Yeah, I do appreciate YouTube. Go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. I'll do some more fun videos once I get some more stuff in. But, uh, yeah, this was a, a good one, a good purchase to get. So, uh, check it out and find it. You'll see it under a couple of different names. But you should just type in the SF-103 and you'll get one that's, uh, you know, 2 to 2.8 gigs um, for right around, if not less than $50. So, all right, talk to y'all later.